that when we scanned his patellar tendon, he actually had a pretty significant tear in his patellar tendon. Now, um, at this point, we have to step back to understand that maybe this is not painful for him. Uh, because again, our physical exam didn't really suggest that the patellar tendon was involved in his pain. However, we also have to understand that sometimes the physical exam uh, might mislead us. Sometimes in really athletic patients, we might not get the full picture because the tissues are so used to being moved, manipulated, things like that, that we don't always elicit pain from certain structures. And we also have to think about the long-term aspect. So if you have a large tear in a tendon, uh, that tendon is going to be compromised, obviously. And over time, that could progress, progress, progress to where it becomes painful or where it could result in a further tear that could uh, be problematic. Um, and so because of that, we made a game time decision with the patient to uh, add in and inject the patellar uh, tendon with PRP inside that tear uh, to hopefully uh, help that tear heal, which I'll be excited uh, to follow that and track that. Um, and interestingly, when we did those injections into that, uh, it did create some familiar pain for the patient. Uh, again, going back to the earlier discussion of recreating patient's pain, uh, this was important for us uh, because it was something that didn't show in the physical exam. And if I didn't do ultrasound guidance for my, Im for my imaging for my injections, then I wouldn't have known that this tear was there because it also did not show up on his MRI. Um, uh, which is rather interesting because it was a uh, pretty significant tear. But uh, that is uh, what we ended up doing with him. We put a little bit extra uh, PRP and some BPC into that tear uh, to try and help that heal.